was at Dave Sitek's house, just chilling how we normally do, and just going through beats. Beat after beat, like, eh, I'm dying that one. Yeah, that one's cool. And then that one came on, yeah. and we were both like, whoa. Sounds mad, it sounds furious. So normally when we write lyrics, mm -hmm. just let the beat talk to us first, and then we go on from there. So however I'm feeling when I hear that, that first thump, that first bass, I just go off with that. And I just felt like I had to start the song off with like anarchy and chaos. Mm -hmm. It just shit just sounds like sounds like nothing else. You pray to God, I pray for hell. Cause niggas like me go to hell. We met Dave through a, a, a fan friend, if that makes sense. Cause he was a fan first. It was this dude named Frank. He was like Super come, fan. Super fan, like <laughs> coming to our shows and he's like, he's not one of those like standing in the back guys. Like he's in the pit getting sweaty, like really involved. And um, he came to a few shows and then uh, he approached me and was like, yo, man, I, I work with this, with this dude. Uh, he's really talented, you guys should work together. But he never told me who he was at first. And then he disclosed to me that it was Dave Siddick from TV on the radio. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Like, yeah, let's totally hang with that dude. And um, that's how it happened. We just went to his house one day. Uh, we sat down, he's like so chill, so nonchalant, and he'll tell you stories for a couple hours, just, just joking around, drinking, smoking, kicking it, and then we just start making music, literally. Like, you know, we'll go from stories to music, back to stories, back to music, food that he likes to cook, too, yeah. and coconuts. He always got like yeah. these, these like raw coconuts that he'll give you. But um, <laughs> yeah, that song was just like a, a burst of it. That was the first song we recorded with him, actually. Do you believe in angels, demons, and gods? For when you sleep, the devil even the eyes. For me, it, when I wrote it and when I thought of that beat, it was kind of like a, um, it was kind of like a, like a being a prisoner, like, like when I think of hell, I think of prison. I think of being caged in like an animal, like you know what I'm saying. Um, and and a prison can mean anything. It could be a prison, like a literal prison. It could be prison within your community. It could be prison within your government, within your religion, within your home. Sometimes you are home, and you're in a prison. Like I grew up, kind of like very. Uh, my parents were very strict, very religious. So like I couldn't go out and do certain things. So that to me is a prison. So war. Uh, that 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 was pretty much the mindset behind the song for me anyway. Yeah. It's not really political, but we are talking about stuff that is occurring in our country. But we, I, I don't want to say that we're political um, because I'm not trying to be like a president or a governor or a mayor. I'm not running for office. I'm just a regular black dude that happens to have a platform to speak his mind and I'm when we're just speaking it as we see it, you know? The world is a is a beautiful place but it can also be a terrible place. You know? 